so I'm at a new thrift store in town called Uptown Cheapskate. We're gonna go in and see what they have. Here we go. Hopefully we're gonna find some good stuff. Well, that was a bust. They had free people marked at $25 and up and Sam Edelman at 25. Yeah, too steep for my blood. On to Goodwill. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Sunshine and I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And I've linked my Poshmark closet down below if anybody wants to, you know, take a look and see what I'm selling and what it's selling for. But today I have a thrift haul, retail arbitrage haul, and I stopped off at a little mom and pop shop that just recently reopened. So I'm excited to show with you what I found. I think I'm gonna start off with Goodwill. So I got a few pieces at Goodwill, not a lot, but a few. I picked up this blue snap front house dress. These are like the ladies used to wear back in the 50s and the 60s because they would wear them all day long so they wouldn't have to get dressed. Or some of them would even wear them over the clothes they had on so those clothes wouldn't get dirty. So this one has cool patchwork and embroidery on the pockets and then on the back, up near the neck. And it's by Coffee Time. Never heard of it, but I'm thinking it's vintage. And it's a size large and it's just really lightweight cotton perfect for the summertime when you don't feel like getting dressed and right now we all know a lot of us are living in athletic clothes <laughs> okay the next piece i picked up because it's a green hunter green pretty waffle thermal and we all know I got one a month ago or so and it sold and I bought that for myself, this one too. So we'll see what happens. And this is just by Arizona Jean Company. And it's a size large, but it's in really good condition. I forgot once again to say what I paid for that coffee time. So I paid $3 for that. I paid $4 for this thermal. And I probably will list this between 25 and 30 and the coffee time. I don't know. The comps are all over the place. So probably 25 to 30 for that as well. Okay. The next thing I got at Goodwill was this pretty twin set in slate blue. And it's got a floral print on the overlay cardigan part and it buttons down the front. And these twin sets are just made to look layered. They're not really two pieces. It's just one piece, like with an attached front sweater underneath. So yeah, I paid $4 for this. You can hardly see the tag on it, but it's, uh, God, I can't even read it. International Design Industries. And I couldn't read the fabric tag or the size tag, but I just measured it out. And it measures out to fit a 2X, so. The last twin set I sold, I think I sold it for 30, so I'll probably be listing that for the same. And we all know how much I love my denim shirts with embroidery. This one's no exception. It's got an embroidered collar, harvest embroidery along the front, and it's just a long button cuff denim shirt by Faded Glory in a size 22 to 24. So I spent $5 for this and I'm expecting because of the pretty embroidery, the condition and the size, I should get almost $30 for it. And then the last thing I have hanging on a hanger because I really, really want to wear this, but you know, I list stuff. So if it sells before it's cool enough for me to wear it, then oh well. But this is this cool embellished cowboy boots and star V-neck three, four sleeves t-shirt. 
I only paid four dollars for it and <laughs> it's by Get Lucky USA and a size extra large. Look at that bling. So I'll probably be listing this one pretty high because like I said, I want to keep it. But uh, yeah, I'll probably list it for $30 and we'll see where it lands. Okay, I think I'm gonna move on to retail arbitrage. Stay with me. Okay, I'm going on to the retail arbitrage. Did you guys miss me? Yeah. <laughs> So I got a lot of pieces because they were really inexpensive. Well, to me anyway. And I, I look at a lot of their caftans and their moo's and stuff and I'm not really liking the material on them because I like that stuff to be cotton. And theirs is more like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's not Jersey, but it's some kind of weird material. But anyway, I was walking down the row and I spotted this. So all I saw was this much. And I'm like, oh, I love that turquoise. I'm not a big animal print fan, but I know it's in right now. But I love that blue. So I pulled it out and it is this gorgeous caftan with an embellished lotus flower on the front. And then it continues down to more leopard print at the bottom. So it's got the wide cut kimono sleeves. It's a one size and it is by Sante Classics, which I've never heard of, but it's new with tags. And it has also got the pattern on the back. So cool. And it is, even though it's not cotton, it's not really polyester either. It's kind of like in between. But I paid up for this, so I paid like $11 for it. But I'm expecting it to bring 40, so we will see how that works. I really, really like that. And that was the only one I found. All the rest were, yeah, not worth me picking up. Okay, the next one, I'm taking them off hangers because I had them on hangers because I was getting ready to take pictures. But this one is this cool graphic t-shirt and it's Johnny Cash Walk the Line. It's got his boots on it. When I first picked it up, I thought I held it up to me <clears throat> because it seemed really long and I'm thinking, ooh, I found a t-shirt dress, right? No. I mean, even the girl <laughs> who checked me out held it up and it looked long, but it's just a tunic. I mean, it's 31 inches. You can't very well wear that as a dress you be showing your hoo-ha. Okay, so it's this cool black Johnny Cash Walk the Line t-shirt. It's branded with his name. And it's a size extra large. And I paid $8 for this. So I'm thinking it'll bring between 25 and 30, hopefully. Okay, moving on. I picked this up because I was gonna keep it for myself. I'm looking for some cute short sleeve shirts. So I spotted this pretty fall color burnt sienna. It's got the layered flutter sleeves, pretty embroidery, even around the back of the neck. And it's just by Keep in Touch, size large. It's like a short sleeve peasant blouse. So it's got the tie front with the tassels. And I only paid $4 for this retail arbitrage. So I'm thinking, oh, I can't wait to get home and try it on. So I tried it on and hello, I'm an older female, so I have bat wings. You notice I have a shirt on today. I'm taking notes from the others. So yeah, it showed every bit of those bat wings and I said, nope, can't have that. So I'll be selling this and I looked at comps online and it should sell for around 25. So yeah, hopefully, because I'm sure not gonna take it back for $3, I mean, come on. So the next item I got, I'm not really big into kimonos and stuff, like I said, but on this day I found some unique colors and it just caught my eye and yeah, I wanted to see more. So this is a pretty gauze lightweight, gauzy, semi-sheer caftan, 
cardigan, whatever you want to call it. It's got the short sleeves and this pretty crochet down the back. And it's by Accessory, new with tags. And it's one size and it measures out really big, so I'm sure it would fit up to a 3X. But I love this color and I'm thinking, oh, it's army green. And then I get home and look it up and it's actually sage. It's got the hem slits. So it's really pretty. And I only paid $6 for this. So I'm expecting it should bring 35. Hang on, I gotta get a drink. Whew, it's still hot here in the desert, still in the hundreds during the day. Okay, this caught my attention because of that same army green color, which I guess they're calling sage nowadays. Pretty lace, sheer, gathered bell sleeves. Look at those. Look at the detail. Such pretty lace detail. And this was new with tags too. It's got a floral print to it. I just can't get over those sleeves. So I bought two of these. They're by Jolie and Joy. And I bought one in a medium and one in a large. And I paid $8 for these. And I'm hoping these will bring 30. So they've got the cool lace detail on the bottom. Almost like an eyelash hem kind of. But anyway, really pretty pink and green. Love those colors. So yeah, I got two of those. And then I know blazers are big this fall. And I couldn't pass up a blazer for $5, especially a linen one. This one you would think is vintage because it has shoulder pads, but it's not. So maybe they're bringing shoulder pads back. I don't know. It's this really cool leaf print, long sleeve blazer with the button cuffs. And like I said, it has shoulder pads. It only has a single button closure in the front. And then it has fake uh, welt pockets. But yeah, it's linen and it's lined and it's by Solitaire. I'm not even sure where that's sold at in a size large. So like I said, I only paid $5 for this and I'm hoping that it'll bring at least 30. Really nice. Nice to wear to work, nice as casual wear, you know, pretty versatile. You could even wear it as a top with maybe a little cami underneath. Okay, I was on the I was on the kimono trail today, I mean yesterday. So this is a white, semi-sheer, gauzy kimono, three, four sleeves, and this does have the eyelash cuffs. See how they're, they look like eyelashes? That's why they're called eyelash cuffs. This one's also new with tags. Got the pretty crochet on the back, open waterfall front, and cool, crochet lace, eyelash hem, and this is by Indigo Rose, who I've heard of. It's not a high-end brand, but they sure make cute stuff. I love their um, tops that I walk in because they're padded, and yeah, I like that. So anyway, this is a 3X, and it's a generous 3X. You know, use it for a pool cover-up, or you could actually wear it, you know, over a band tee and jeans. I mean, it's pretty versatile too. So did I say what I paid for that? I paid $8 for that too. They had a bunch of linen. I was surprised since, you know, summer's winding down. But I saw this cute V-neck, double V, with the bar back. And I love the peach color. And I thought, oh, that would be perfect for me since I don't know, own any linen pieces. And, uh, you know, it's lightweight, it's unlined. And it is by, 
<clears throat> Harvey Bernard. I haven't looked this up yet, but that name sounds really familiar to me. If you guys know anything about Harvey Bernard, would you leave me a comment below and let me know where it's sold at? So it's a size small, but I held it up to me and it looked like it would fit my bust. And then I get it home and it's like, yeah, no, I don't like the way it fits the rest of me. Um, it's coral haze color. So it'll be going up for sale. I would have returned it, but <clears throat> I only paid $3 for it. So yeah, I'm not going to return that over $3. So I'll list it for 30 and maybe it'll sell for 25. Hopefully we'll see. Taking another drink, sinuses. I found that drinking helps. Drinking water, <laughs> not drinking. Okay, the next top I also bought for myself, and it's this pretty pink, gauzy, lightweight texture with the smocking up here. And once again, those flutter sleeves. So we know what happened with the last one I tried on. Same thing happened with this one. <clears throat> and it's just got the keyhole front with the tie and the beaded tassel or the beaded ends. Yeah, pretty silver. Pretty cool. This is by hmm, Fundamental Things. And there's pretty good comps online for this. Although it's just a little basic top. And it's a size large. And it's a high-low hem. I mean, it's really pretty. The color, the camera's not doing it justice. Really pretty lightweight top. You know, you could put a cardigan over it, wear it through fall. And I only paid $3 for this one too, which is why it's not going back. So, like I said, the comps were really good. So, I mean, I'm gonna list mine low because I wanna get rid of it. But um, yeah, I'll probably list that for $25. And now I'm gonna take you guys, I saved the best for last. This is this little mom and pa place. It's a little honey hole as they call it. And they um, are a nonprofit, so they take care of, um, you know, like homeless women and stuff. I remember I used to donate a lot of my couponing items to them, my shampoos and all that. So I was glad to see them reopen. And I can't wait to show you guys what I got. Stay tuned. I'm back. I wanted to show you the shirt that I'm wearing. Unfortunately, my tripod's sitting a little high, but... Yes, it's Jimi Hendrix. And you can see I actually have bottoms on. And this is the tie-dye t-shirt, crop tee. That I'm selling in my Poshmark closet. Isn't that cool? For $35, but if you make me an offer, I'm sure I would take it. And let me know you're from YouTube. Okay, on with my little Ma and Pa finds. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna save the best for last probably. Okay, so the first thing I picked up, oh, I forgot to tell you. So, <laughs> long story, I'm going to, I always go to the Taco Bell to pick up dinner and then go to CVS on my way home on Wednesdays. Well, that's where I passed this place. So I stopped in and I'm so glad I did. I had 15 minutes to spend in there. I went through there like a white tornado and, and she told me, you know, they were having a sale, stuff was 75% off, but it wasn't marked. So I told her, I go, I'm just gonna pull stuff, put it on the counter and you tell me the damage. So that's how we worked it. So the first thing I spotted was this cool crochet textured embroidered, eyelet embroidered, and then it's got like a gauzy bottom <clears throat> and it's got the sleeves with the bell cuffs they're three four sleeves it feels like um linen even though i know it's not that's what it feels like really beautiful it's got like the baby doll style and it was new with tags and it's by cow style which i've never heard of it's called Textured and Lace. And um, the bodice is lined. 
So she sold me this for four dollars. And you know, I haven't tried this on. It looks like it runs over size. It might even fit me. But anyway, I figure I'll list it for $30 and see where it lands. It'll probably sell for $25. Hopefully it'll sell. <coughs> Here we go. Okay. Next thing I saw as I was walking around the corner, it's on a hanger. Is do you see that? And I'm like, oh my, look at these flowers. And they're leather. And it's your denim, it's a denim jacket, you know, crop jacket. But I knew it had to be something. So when I looked, it is. It's Brighton. I didn't even know Brighton did denim jackets. But anyway, and I'm assuming the one heart means it's a small. But it's just got, these are leather, so it's embroidered. It's got the embroidery, leather flowers on, on both sides, kind of stonewashed. And then it's got the front pockets. And it even continues over one of the back shoulders. So pretty. So. Before I even, you know, put this on the counter, I asked her how much it was, and she said $15. Now remember, they're having a 75% off sale. So I'm like, yeah, no. I go, well, let me put it on the counter and think about it. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, I put that on the counter. Oh, well, I might as well tell you, I ended up getting it for $10. And the comps look pretty good online. I figure I'll list it for 50 and hope that I get 40. Oh, it's got the branded buttons too. So cool and in really excellent condition. Okay, the next thing I saw was this flannel shirt because you know, we're going into cooler weather and I like the red, white, and blue plaid pattern. And I also loved this cool lace on the back really awesome so it's got the two front pockets you know your normal button-up shirt and it is by probably a boutique brand love potion in a size large but isn't this just gorgeous and it's kind of lightweight it's not your heavy heavyweight even though it's cotton i really really like this and it's in excellent condition too so she only charged me $3 for that, and I'm hoping it'll bring at least $25. And then this <clears throat> I saw because I might want it for myself. So it's just a short sleeve burnout scoop neck, but look what's on the front. Love it, love it, love it. So it's a nautical anchor, embellished front, lightweight burnout material, it's got the pointy hanky hem. I don't know if I can reach it up high enough. There we go. It's a hanky hem when it's pointed somewhere. And I'm thinking, I didn't even, I thought this might be a sleepwear brand. I don't know. SJS. Has anybody ever heard of that? But when I looked it up online, people are listing it just as a top but this kind of looks like a sleepwear tag i mean i'm sure you could wear it out but okay and this is a size large so i will be trying this on i'll still be listing it but if i'm if i try it on and like it i want to keep it we all know how that works isn't that pretty so cool so she charged me she wanted to charge you ten dollars for this and i looked at her like it's a t-shirt and she goes, but it's embellished. And I, in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, that doesn't mean it's more expensive. <laughs> but anyway, so I talked her down to $6 for this. So I ended up paying 6 for this. And hopefully I'll get 25 So I'm in there waiting for some other lady that's in the back area. Because it's a small place. And there's only the lady that's working there and me and another lady shopping. So I'm ho-humming around, you know, I'm limited for time and I'm ho-humming around and I go back to the dress section, which I'm trying not to pick up dresses because I have so many dresses. If anybody out there is looking for dresses, make me an offer and I'm sure I'll take it. 
but let me see which part this one so i see this color hanging and i love turquoise turquoise to me is right up there with purple in color so i go and i pull out pull it out and see this hand painted right here now there's another piece that was underneath it but i'll show you that in a minute so there are two pieces. I see this, it's hand painted. I love the color already, hand painted. And button front, this is the vest part. It's got two front pockets with a hand painted, hand painted, Coco Pelli, the flute player. Some say he brings fertility. And then we have some native designs on this one and on the back, a big one. And these are all hand painted. They're textured and hand painted. Just so beautiful, beautiful condition. And this is, I'm pretty sure it's cotton because yep, it's 100% pre-shrunk cotton in a size medium, but it runs oversized. And I'm pretty sure the bust on these is 40 or over 40. So it'll easily fit a large. Oh, it doesn't have a brand name on it, so there's no use me showing it, but somebody hand painted this gorgeous vest. So this is the, the overlay, the vest. Then what was underneath it was, look at this, look at that. So it's got patches on the front, more hand painted, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it up because I think it's either a midi or a maxi. So beautiful. Look at that. It's got sunshine in the middle. Love it. I'm going to like wearing this if nobody buys it. It's got the deer. And it is short sleeved. Like I said, it's either a midi or a maxi dress. And it's got the cool painting on the bottom. And then it's got the button detail. You know, you can unbutton it if you want more room. I'm not gonna be able to show this. I want you guys to see this because it's so pretty. Look at the Coco Pelli. So gorgeous. Somebody, I just can't believe, I'd have paint everywhere. I don't have a steady hand anyway. But yeah, so pretty. And this one also has, I don't know what these are called. I wanted to say bunny tracks but I'm not sure, I can't remember. But it's so pretty. And like I said, in barely worn, if worn condition. I'm thinking something like this probably came from Sedona because they have a lot of artisans down there and they do this kind of stuff and they sell it for outrageous amounts. Like something like this would probably be $400. Because you know, how much money can you put on your time and your artistry? So, I could not believe she only charged me $5 for the set. She gave me 75% off. All in all, I bought five pieces for under $24. So yeah, I am going to, I'll look to see if there's any comps for anything like this, but I'm thinking I'm gonna price this probably around 150 because of the uniqueness of it and the condition that it's in. So pretty. Okay, so I think that's it. Yep, that's it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any insight on the labels that I was showing you, please let me know. And if you like this video and you like, you know, sourcing videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I bring you what solds, I bring you thrift with me, and eventually I may even do vlogs. So, Hope everybody's having a great day. Hope your sales are awesome. And I'll see you on the next one.